Imagine planning an epic journey into deep space. Your rocket, the payload, and the crew on board have spent years in development and training. Preparing to launch in just minutes, thousands of tons of propellant are loaded, and the go-slash-no-go pole is running. Vehicle readiness, range safety, ground infrastructure, flight path analysis, weather is all clear. Just rewind for a second. What was the one variable in that pole that may be the hardest to accurately predict? You can run all the checks you want with the rocket, payload, and the mission simply due to the mostly automated machines and controls designed into and around the vehicle. You can't control the weather. Even in the final minutes of a countdown, temperamental weather patterns can throw a mission into a tailspin. All those years of planning this mission, and Mother Nature might have a few moves of her own. One of the most dramatic examples was during the Apollo 12 mission in 1969. Just 36 seconds after liftoff, the rocket was struck not once, but twice by lightning, causing a near-catastrophic failure of the onboard electrical systems. The exhaust from Apollo's massive F-1 engines became a lightning rod, attracting strikes from the nearby storm clouds. The command module panel was suddenly ablaze with warning lights, more than the astronauts had ever seen in training. It was the quick thinking of a mission control ECOM officer, John Aaron, that saved the day. With the simple but now legendary call of SCE to AUX, a switch to a backup system, he guided that crew to restore the critical telemetry data. Once in orbit, the astronauts needed to work for hours to realign the guidance system, allowing them to safely continue their lunar injection burn and land on the surface of the moon. The Challenger disaster in 1986 was sadly a more heartbreaking example. On a cold January morning, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight. Investigators later found that the unusually cold temperatures at the time of launch, along with high vertical wind shear that day, caused the failure of the O-rings in the solid rocket boosters. This tragically led to the loss of seven astronauts, and that catastrophe was a deadly reminder of the importance of weather predictions for launch decisions. Meteorology is a critical element of every launch we get to enjoy. Yes, the powerful forces of weather can make all the difference for the success or failure of space missions. Picture this, a colossal, gleaming spacecraft standing tall against the backdrop of that glorious sky, ready to defy gravity and soar into the great unknown. Well, these days you don't need to imagine it a great deal. We saw scenes like this just a few weeks ago, didn't we, Il? That's the magic of rocket flight, where we can transform our space exploration dreams from mere science fiction into a tangible reality. But hold on there, because as mesmerizing as these rocket launches are, there's one unsung hero that plays a crucial role in this celestial ballet. No matter if it is the rocket launches themselves or nail-biting conclusions to missions re-entering the atmosphere and touching down safely and sound. Yes, we are talking about the weather. Well, you might be surprised how intricately the two, the weather and space, are linked and how SpaceX is revolutionizing weather forecasting at Starbase using artificial intelligence provided by Atmo, a new AI meteorology startup that's building some of the most precise forecasts on Earth. But how? And why is this so critical to the future of space exploration? Just think about all those weather-related scrubs you've seen caused by wind, rain, fog, or lightning. Atmospheric conditions are really the cause of most launches being scrubbed. You could pretty much think of weather as being a silent gatekeeper to space, actually. From the early days of rocket launches, meteorologists have had the colossal challenge of predicting when it's safe to fly. Often scrubs occur simply out of an abundance of caution due to the fuzziness of those predictions. As we head into the crazy future of daily and perhaps even hourly launches, we don't want fuzziness in those predictions. With SpaceX alone setting an ambitious goal of 144 missions in 2024, forecasting launch weather precisely every single day is vital. 
This might surprise you, but SpaceX and Starbase, among many other companies, have been utilizing new revolutionary weather forecasting using artificial intelligence. Let's dive deeper into the evolution of this meteorology technology. Based in San Francisco, ATMO has been setting new meteorological benchmarks for governments and militaries around the world. By using massive deep learning neural networks like those found in ChatGPT, ATMO's artificial intelligence programs predict the next minute, hour, day, week, or month of weather with 100 times the detail of prior technologies. During SpaceX's Integrated Flight Test 2, just weeks ago, ATMO weather forecasting systems were deployed at SpaceX's iconic Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. What an incredible day for weather it was too, and the ATMO crew were right there at Rocket Ranch to witness that mind-blowing event. A partnership that is showing how artificial intelligence even has a role to play in space exploration as we push the boundary of what's possible. Of course, it isn't just for predicting when it is best to launch rockets. Just think about the many events requiring a clear weather report. After all, you don't want these massive vehicles rolling down the road if huge surprise wind gusts ramp up. Likewise, you really don't want to interrupt the essential production bay construction either. So we're about to uncover the critical role of meteorology in propelling us to the stars. Let's just wind back the clock a little way because the genius of these new systems becomes very obvious when you see where we've come from. Weather forecasting for space launches has evolved tremendously since Sputnik first reached orbit in 1957. That was, of course, a far cry from the high-tech field we know today. Back then, forecasting involved basic tools, thermometers, barometers, and simple wind sensors. Meteorologists, in fact, relied heavily on direct observations and rudimentary calculations. These figures were fed into the first digital computers, such as the famed ENIAC and IBM 701. As we started launching astronauts into space in the 1960s-S, more advanced radars and supercomputers were deployed to try and crack weather forecasting. The challenge, however, remained immense. It was still a guessing game to predict conditions like winds at different altitudes, temperature variations, or the potential for lightning. Launch scrubs from unexpected weather and even weather accidents remained all too common, sometimes with extreme consequences. So friends, what do you think about this developments? Write your views in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos. If you like the video, please like and share the video.